One of the unique things about Tasmania is you only have to travel a few short minutes from a capital city to World Heritage Wilderness. It's an incredible place. G'day and welcome to Forgotten Tasmania. I'm John Stevenson. I tell stories from the Beattie Studio collection. This photo has a title, Mount Wellington from the Cascade Creek, Beattie 891A. There's no date and there's nothing else to go on. I used to live in Ferntree and I drove up the mountain every day. I'm familiar with Cascades and the Hobart Town Rivulet, but I've never heard of a Cascade Creek, so maybe the name has changed. Speaking of name changes, when the British colonised in 1803, they started naming places. The Dutch had done a bit of that too, which is why the state was called Van Diemen's Land prior to 1856, when they changed the name to Tasmania. I will do an episode on names, because it's a really important part of our history and it deserves a full exploration. For now, I just want to acknowledge that the First Nation Aboriginal names did and do exist. There's been a shift in Tasmania and now we have dual naming for some places, including Kunanyi, which is the traditional custodian name for Mount Wellington. I grew up in the 1970s in Tasmania and my education about Australia's First Nation people, their culture, and even the fact that they're the oldest living culture on the planet, well, that just wasn't the same as it is today, I'm afraid. Um, so I'm learning as I go and I'm trying to show lots of respect as well. So I hope you'll bear with me. In Mr Beattie's time, only the British names were used for places. So I hope you don't mind if I refer to Mr Beattie's titles just as they're written. First, I have to restore the photo. This negative is a copy of a print and the print wasn't in the best condition. There's not a lot of contrast to be had. There's a big tear in the bottom right hand side and lots of marks and scratches. I'm gonna have my work cut out restoring this one. By using adjustments in Lightroom, I can drop the blacks, raise the whites, and with the clarity slider, I can add some contrast in the mid-tones. Then it's off to my Photoshop artist to fix up that damage. The result is good. It's not the best photo in the collection, but it looks pretty good to me. Now I need to find the spot and re-photograph it. That'll be fun. Cascade Creek is a bit vague. There isn't an actual creek with that name today. Well, not in Southern Tasmania anyway. Jim reckons it's up the back of the brewery. That could be a problem as it isn't all public land up there and I might need permission to go walking. I think it's time to get in the car and go have a look. That's the thing about Tasmania, the wilderness is right on your front doorstep. The location of this one is less than a 15 minute drive from the Hobart GPO and it's in the Mount Wellington National Park. When I lived in Ferntree, my home was right next to the park and also next to Peter Dombromski, uh, but that's another story. I set off for a walk up the rivulet to see what I could find. It's a great walk. I used to do it often at lunchtime working in the city and having a lunchtime walk in a national park. Now that's very Tasmanian. I was sure that formation of rocks in the photo would still be there today. Those rocks look like they go all the way down into the ground and wouldn't be washed away easily, even after a hundred or more years. But you'd be surprised how many flat rocks that jut out like that there are. But none of them had the right angle on the mountain or the sloping land to the right or that path up high like that. I walked all the way up to Cascade Brewery but never found the spot. So I asked the audience, a shout out for help on Facebook and I have some credible leads. Mountain historian Maria Grist has suggested McFarlane Street below the brewery. That sounds promising. Back up the rivulet I go and now we're getting close. The angle of the mountain is right, but I can't find the rocks and the right bank of the rivulet is too steep. Eventually I find the spot right in the middle of Cascade Gardens and it all makes sense. Cascade Gardens, Cascade Creek. The hill, the mountain, the angle, everything looks right. I'm pretty sure I'm in the right spot. Now the problem is the rivulet's gone, replaced by a concrete weir. The original photo is now impossible, but we can show the massive difference between the two. I get Jim and he takes the shot. The overlay with the original looks very close. So now I've restored the original, we've found the location, and Jim has re-photographed it. I found this photo of the same area uh, in the State Archives, but this photo was taken by H.H. H. Bailey. He was a photographer slightly before Mr. Beatty, uh, but it's interesting comparing the two, very similar, so it must have been a very similar era. In the next episode, I'll explore the history of Cascade Gardens. So I hope you'll stick around for that episode. Uh, if you liked it, please uh, hit the like button or the subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Cheers.